there. Um, <laughs> what is up, guys? It is the Scrub Squad here. Uh, actually, just JJ uh, alone for today. Uh, I I know it's the summertime, and I know you know people are getting out of school and they have a lot more free time. So I figured, you know, I really want to try and attempt to get daily videos to be a thing. So I think for the Sunday slot, we might do two videos on Sunday if that's at all possible. But starting now, I want to do, uh, I want to, I want to get good at competitive battling, right? I, I was, uh, I, I'd say decent, uh, before, uh, back in X and Y, but since Auras came out, a lot of stuff has happened, and I have, I've been pretty far away from the meta. So today, well, let me sip some water real quick. <sighs> Not bad. All right. So today, I'm just going to go through some team building, maybe start up. Uh, a match or two and uh, you know hopefully hopefully we can uh, get something going here alright so I have no idea OU pretty much looks the same I know that they're ooh superior is all the way up in OU now that's crazy that is crazy that thing jumped alright uh, so what do we want to base a team around what do we want to use I love Venomoth so much but from my past experience, he just gets destroyed in OU. I don't like the whole BL system. I feel like if it's not good enough for OU, it should just be in UU. But you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, what do though? What do? Hmm, I kind of want to base it off of Mega Medicham, to be honest. You know what? I haven't done. Excuse me. Gardevoir used to be was like one of my favorite megas, so I'm gonna go ahead and rock out with a mega Gardevoir. So I don't even know. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have zero idea what to do here. I'm just gonna trace. Let's go ahead and trace, right? Okay. Gardevoir gets that thing that does the move with the thing, right? All right. So, I guess we'll run Calm Mind, uh, Psy Shock, I guess is common, and then Hyper Voice, I know is common. And what else for coverage? I guess maybe Energy Ball? What are my threats? Steel types. Steel or Poison? Eh, not really Poison, but Steel types, definitely. So, what are like the threatening Steel types in OU? We have Bi Sharp. We've got, uh, Excadrill. Do people run HP Fight? Would that be a smart move? Should I run HP Fight? Uh, I feel like HP Fight wouldn't be bad as an idea. We'll just try it, because I, like I said, I don't remember anything. So, let's go ahead and run HP Fight. Uh, I want to do max speed, max special attack with... A timid nature yeah let's go ahead and run it timid we're gonna give that last four into special defense uh, is that a smart move should we go modest maybe because like I feel like with that 30 minus you know the, the minus one IV we're not gonna outspeed the things that we expect to speed tie with um, Okay, okay, okay. But, so Gardevoir, kind of bulky special defensive wise, but its HP is kind of lackluster and its defense is really lackluster. So what I really want is something that will cover that steel type weakness while also offering a decent amount. Hit Powdowns all the way in OU? What? How are people running it? Ah. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I kind of want, but I didn't think it'd be OU. I kind of want like that lower tier power. Because what I've learned from playing OU, at least like the lower, when you're like lower tier, is that if you bring something from like a lower tier that isn't OU, a lot of people tend to like not know exactly what to expect from it. And I really like that element of surprise that you get from it. So, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so Gardevoir. Weak to Steel. Weak to Poison. 
Uh, weak to ghost. Is that it? Uh, steel poison ghost. Not weak to dark. Neutral to dark. Is that really it though? I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, weak to bug. Also weak to bug. Uh, so, something that bug isn't super offensive. Mega Scizor is in this tier though. Maybe has to run HP Fire. Is HP Fire more common? But HP Fight will definitely get rid of a. Uh... Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll change. We'll, we'll, we'll consider it in a bit. We will consider it in a bit. So. Huh. Heatran deals with uh, the steel weakness, deals with the poison weakness and deals with the bug weakness so it would honestly not make much sense if we didn't use heatran and i'm like i said i'm the type of person that doesn't like to use uh you know the higher up tiers but this only honestly makes sense to be fair i kind of want to open up another tab and i want to go for pokemon showdown let's just do this real quick. Let's go ahead and go to usage stats. Because I'm kind of curious about the whole Guard of War situation. Guard of War should be up here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so people run Hyper Voice, Psy Shock. Alright, so I don't see. Oh, Hidden Power Fire and Hidden Power Ground. Alright. Uh, most people run it Timid. Okay, a lot of people run the Mega Guard of War. Okay, but who do you team it up with? See, I'm thinking Heatran is like almost perfect. Now, Ferrothorn deals with the steel weakness, deals with the poison, deals with the... It doesn't really deal with the ghost, but it does deal... No, it's neutral to the bug. I don't know. I'm going to match it up with Heatran. I feel like matching it up with Heatran is a really, really good thing. Uh, as for our counters, Mega Metagross. That is a scary, scary threat. I would run Shadow Ball on it, but I feel like that really limits what we can handle. Because we could always just switch out in that case. Uh, Scizor, also a big check. I figured as much because it is Bug and Seal, two things that kind of pop this thing. Okay, Entei. Yeah, we can't really do much to Entei. Pinsir. Alright, yeah, okay. So we've got a lot to look out for that, you know, we just really don't want. Um, a lot of these checks and counters are psychic or ghost types. I mean, like, they're weak to, to ghost moves, rather, I guess is what I want to say. But they're also very fast. So I kind of, I kind of want to run Shadow Ball. Like I said, we'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. I should probably write this down somewhere. Where is, uh... Do we have something like that? Do we have something like that? No? Alright, I'm crazy. I could have sworn I had a piece of paper somewhere around here, but I don't. But I do have a blanket, so this is going to be my safety blanket. We're going to make sure that this team gets built. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run Heatran. Uh, special Heatran, because that's the one that makes most sense. So yeah, let's see. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna run. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I kinda don't want to do this now. That I think about it. Or do I? Should I run Stealth Rock? I'm gonna run Roar for anything that wants to set up. We can go ahead and run. I don't wanna run Eruption because this thing is very fast. Uh, I'll get it. No, Flash Cannon definitely, and Flamethrower or Lava Plume for the chance to burn. Let's go Lava Plume. We're risky. We're risky. You know, it's kinda like a fire type skull. Let's do it. Alright. And uh, what's the last thing? What is the last thing? that we can run on this thing. We have roar, maybe toxic? 
just in case yeah we're gonna go ahead we're gonna run it like that go ahead and run it like that okay so now we have that ground weakness I was bringing up earlier earthquake one of the most common and uh, you know for good reason it's a it's a lot it's a really common move and uh, it's really good you know 100% accuracy 100 damage and a lot of Pokemon that run it also get stab damage with it so that's a thing and I also I also want to keep out looking out for this Lando T I don't know if you guys can see that I'm looking at Lando T I think you can but uh, yeah Lando T is something I kind of fear same with Rotom Wash uh, hmm. Lando T Rotom Wash something with levitate is what I'm looking for so I'm just gonna go ahead and search levitate levit I can't spell Okay, so I actually was thinking of Azelf to set up rocks, uh, but I think that's really risky, and I kind of don't want to take that chance. So based on that, I kind of don't know. Latios, that's another dark, and uh, that's a dark weakness that we don't really have a counter to, and that's also a, uh, what do you call it? It's also... A ghost weakness that I don't want to that again I don't really have a counter to so huh. that's like a problem with most of these I kind of want to run flame or brodom heat but uh, a mold breaker excadrill a choice scarf mold breaker excadrill could just pop it Should I try it though? Then I'd have, uh, no, cause that's a rock weakness. And nobody actually is immune to rock. As far as I know, I don't think that's a thing. I'm almost certain it's not a thing. Uh, hmm. I really don't know here. I do not know. Does Azelf get defog? Does Azelf get defog? I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. So I think I'm gonna go ahead. Man, who learns? I do. Am I really? A... Okay. I just need to think. I need to think. I need somebody that can set up stealth rock because um, I don't. I'm not confident that I'm gonna be dealing the type of damage that I want to be dealing. I'm just gonna look over this spread real quick, okay. Um, I'm just not confident that I'm gonna be dealing the kind of damage I really want to be dealing. So, I want somebody that can set up all of that stuff. Hmm. Can, you can learn like everything, right? Something like that. You get defog, you do get stealth rock. Yes, you do. Okay. If I did a Heal Bell Defog Stealth Rock, what would my last move be? Uh, would that be worth it? If I did a Special Defensive Mew? Hmm. Go ahead and do Defog, right? Just in case I'm not certain I can get it up. That would, uh, you know, be the best bet. What did I say? Defog, Stealth Rock, Heal Bell. Because I want to keep my team healthy. And what can the last move be? I, I kind of want to do U-Turn. But I feel like... Should I do Volt Switch, U-Turn? I could also do something offensive like Zen Headbutt or Psychic. Uh, but Psychic isn't that great of a physical move. Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Alright, let me look up Mew. Let me go ahead and look up Mew. This is probably going to be a really long, but next time we'll actually have a team already set up. So we shouldn't have to go through all of this. Is Mew, am I going to have to just search for Mew? I probably passed it like a hundred times, but I just didn't see it, so I'm just gonna, that's not how you spell Mew. 
All right, Mew. Okay, leftovers is the most common, of course. Impish. That's a weird spread, but I kind of like it to be honest. Uh, but I think I want to go for more of a, a special defensive one. Willowis knockoff soft boiled taunt. Ugh, this is lame. Yeah, it's pretty lame in terms of how. Because I wouldn't want to face this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and slap the leftovers on this thing. Uh, I'm trying to decide. Uh, my thinking is, I could just get a rabbit spinner though. I really could. I could just grab a rabbit spinner. But who are like really popular rapid spinners? I'm gonna look on Surity. Okay, let's go ahead and do attack decks, right? We're gonna just go ahead and look up rapid spin. Okay, uh, who gets rapid spin? A lot of things get rapid spin. I actually no, because that would be another psychic type, and that'd be awful. I don't want to do fortress. I feel like Don Fan isn't. Eh, Dom Pan might be okay. Extra Drill was actually what I was thinking about, but that's another Steel type. Uh, if it's another Ground Weakness, something I'd like to avoid more of. Shelter gets Rapid Spin. Sand Slash gets Rapid Spin. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know. Because uh, I'm thinking, should I put Soft Boiled on this thing? Because that's actually really valuable. Uh, it's a really valuable move, in my opinion to go ahead and actually have but uh yeah okay so here's what I want to do now what am I afraid of what am I actually afraid of in this tier well I could put HP fighting on you would that be smart if I put HP fighting on you I feel like I could no I could just do aura sphere to be honest I kind of want to do aura sphere uh so if I did Aura Sphere, I need to think of the speed tier I would want to be outspeeding that would make Aura Sphere actually useful. Uh, also, I know that I'm almost certain that by now most people must know that Mew is mostly utility. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you down to 303. Okay, I'm gonna bring down your okay. And what? is a max speed by sharp looking like max speed plus the jolly nature well, it doesn't really matter but jolly nature is 262 okay so I want to be able to beat a jolly by sharp I'm gonna bring you down to uh, one more that was my phone I should probably Turn that down a lot more. Uh, who is okay? Okay. Uh, actually, I didn't mute it. I did not mute it. Mute. Okay. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah. So this is the speed tier I kind of want to outrun, just in case there's a jolly bar sharp running around that wants to hit me with a knockoff. I can go ahead and make that not a thing. Um, but I don't know if 236, I mean it is double damage, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, we have nothing that resists dark types, and honestly this makes me want to get Scrafty. This makes me want to go ahead down all the way to RU and grab Scrafty. Uh, if you've seen... Uh, some of the older ones, I think I used a Scrafty there, and I really enjoy Scrafty. I like that it is so bulky for a fighting type, uh, both def uh, offensively or defensively, defensive and special defensive. It's got bulk on both sides, and honestly, you can not put anything into attack and just go ahead and run. But this, this kind of worries me. Well, I feel like if I run it specially defensive, it'll be fine. I feel that way. But I like to run Shed Skin just in case any shenanigans want to happen. And then I like to run Dragon Dance. Uh, I like to run 
iron head for fairy types that want to try to wall me in case I do set up a decent amount of dragon dances. Uh, drain punch of course and then I think the last move was knockoff. That's mostly because knockoff is like the most common move in the meta at the moment. So um, th once again the HP is one of Scrafty's weaknesses so I'm just going to go ahead and give him a lot of that. So we're going to go ahead with an odd number. Uh, that looks good. Max out his special defense. And, hmm, because if a foul play comes, I'm not going to die unless I set up like three dragon dances. So I guess what comes down to here is, do I want more attack or more speed? I'm going to go ahead with attack because I run into the problem of I've set up like five dragon dances and then there's like a bulky enough fairy type that that non-stab iron head just isn't enough. So I'm going to go ahead and run it careful. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, we do worry about fairy type with you, but I think you four times resist it. Uh... I kind of... I We still have no answer to the ground weakness. We still do not have an answer with the ground weakness. Uh... If I did... If I did something really, really, like, really cheeky, right? Really cheeky. And I did a swords dancing, like, actually offensive glide score. How well would that work? Because I can't be intimidated if I use hypercutter. But would I really use hypercutter is the question. Hmm. Hmm. I do outspeed Lando T though, unless it's Choice Scarfed. I kinda wanna do it. I wanna try it. I've never used a Gliscord before. Uh, which is a shame because in 4th gen, Gliscord was one of my favorite Pokemon. I didn't play 5th gen. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run the, not Poison Orb, the Toxic Orb on you and go ahead with the poison heal and now we can we can defog right we can earthquake never mind we can't defog that's illegal i think almost certain it's illegal but we can go ahead and ice fang earthquake uh as far as a flying type move goes i don't think we really need one uh, should I run knockoff? Uh, I do want to run stone edge though, and I think the last move is going to just go ahead and be sword stance. And I don't want to do bulky sweeper, I want to just outspeed. Let's just outspeed and hope for the best with this. Uh, put that into the defense, that way we don't have to worry too too much about that. And we have three special attackers, two physical attackers. Okay, and after that, Heatran resists ice. Huh. After that, who do I really want to run? Is there any really huge weakness that- oh, water. Water. Water is definitely a weakness that we want to make sure we do not have, as water is one of the, if not the most, uh, the most... common typing in the game so I want to run something with water absorb and I'm kind of thinking hear me out now a choice scarfed jellicent hmm probably a bad idea right or a Suicune but I use, I've used Suicune so much I really do actually want to run something with water absorb hmm so I looked at Maractus that's what I'm looking at right now and um Maractus has very low defenses and not a huge amount of HP, but otherwise I would actually really like to have a grass type for, uh, you know, what do you call those things? You know, the things that do the thing, they have a uh, spore, breloom. Because it's not like I haven't been playing, it's just that I haven't been playing very much and not very seriously. I could actually run a Cacturn, that would give me a, the Dark-type as well. 
with choice scarfing it wouldn't really give me any kind of benefit, would it? Like I said, let's just YOLO it. Let's just YOLO it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run a choice scarf. Cacturn, alright? And we're gonna go ahead and do with the water absorb, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is an awful idea. It's actually an awful idea. Uh, but, you know, we're real. Let's do it. Uh, Cacturn, what's nice about Cacturn is that his attack and special attack are amazing. Uh, and they're also the same. So you can run it specially or physically. I know a lot of people like to run it physically, but in this specific instance, I want to run it. I think I want to run it specially. I actually think I do. Huh. <sighs> I just... Let's see. Because then I can give it Giga Drain. Uh, so that I have constant recovery. It does get nasty plot, but I'm running a choice scarf because good lord you were slow. Um, HP Ice I could run just in case things get hairy with a Lando. I don't even know if I'd outspeed it though. Hold up. Let's go ahead and just say let's just run this thing timid. Where's timid? Oh, you gotta scroll down for it. Uh, if I'm doing the math, that's about 230. 230 cut in half is uh, 115, right? 115 plus 230 is, oh my goodness, math, <laughs> 345, which is not bad speed, if I'm thinking uh, correctly about this. It would, So it would be about 342 to 345 is what I'm imagining. Uh, that outspeeds a lot of stuff in this tier, though. Okay. But I have to really be careful about anything that's choice scarfed. That's the only issue. That is, the only issue with this is that I have to be super careful about other choice scarfers because they're almost definitely going to outspeed me. Uh, but, 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 like I said, I don't know what to actually go ahead and do here for moves. Uh, Grass Whistle puts people to sleep, but it has a 45% accuracy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not gonna be running that. Hmm. <clears throat> because the main thing I am worried about here is Bruloom. Bruloom will probably pop me, though, even if I do switch in on it. Uh, even if I do predict the spore and switch in on a Bruloom, it's probably just gonna take me out anyway, uh, with a Mock Punch, because my defenses are paper, my HP isn't fantastic. Huh, I'm gonna go ahead and run Dark Pulse, Giga Drain, Hidden Power Ice. Should I run it Focus Sash and just pretty much use it to stop anything that really, really wants to take me out? I kind of want to run a focus sash now that I think about it. Because even if something does damage me, if I can if I can predict a water type attack, we're going to be peachy keen. Because uh, I can probably heal myself up all the way back to my sash, and then maybe even switch out from there. Uh, but like I said, just in case I do run into a Breloom and I kind of have this desire to take it out, what can I run to uh, stop it from being a Breloom? Would Venoshock help? It might be Poison Heal. Uh, if I run into a Poison Heal one, that'll do double damage. And I don't think Poison actually resists. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it, to be honest. I'm just going to go for it. All right. Should we do nicknames? Let's go ahead and do nicknames. I love Shiny Mega Gardevoir. Gardevoir, what is your name? Your name shall be... Uh... I'll go ahead and do Milady, right? Mm-hmm. All right, you, you're a Heatran, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and make you male. Name you Hephaestus, it honestly just makes sense. Uh, Mew, right? Uh, you can go ahead and be shiny because you're blue and I love the color blue. And Mew, we can name you. Uh. Uh. What do you even name a Mew? 
What do you name a Mew? What does Mew look like? It looks like a floating cat. A floating cat with a super long tail. Uh, I don't know, Meow? I'm not original. I'm not going to sit here and claim it to be the most original Pokemon nicknamer in the world, right? Scrafty, I don't even know what to name you. Gliscor, I'm going to do a shout out to uh, young Hayden when I used to watch Hayden a whole lot. I remember he named his pincers this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, uh, there was a samurai I was thinking of from an anime that wore that hat. Uh, I know Samurai Jack wore the hat occasionally, but I know there was, like, a samurai I was thinking of that was, like, known for wearing the hat. I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. But, uh, honestly, I just want to hop into this right quick. Okay, so we found a match. This guy seems to have brought... Is this a UU team? Wait, I think Alakazam is actually OU now. I'm gonna do slash DT Alakazam. Yeah, so Alakazam, I believe, is the only OU thing on his team. But it's also the scariest thing because it outspeeds literally everything I have. Uh, and... Mm, excuse me. In terms of potential leads... Uh, I could see the Alakazam, but I'm I'm guessing most likely the Flygon. I am guessing most likely the Flygon. So I kind of want to leave the Dick Pinch here. Uh, okay. Think I want to leave the Dick Pinch because Dick Pinch handles. Dick Pinch can do with the Flygon can deal with. Uh, the Raikou, sort of, and probably not, to be honest. But I'm going to go ahead and lead with Dick Pinch. So I was right, he did lead with the Flygon, and I'm just going to go straight for the Ice Fang. Okay, so he might have predicted that. But we did get the freeze on the Kingler, hold up. Wait a minute, should we even bother switching out? I don't want to set up, because that's risky. He forfeited. Well, alright then. Uh, I did, I don't know if I said it, but I only want to do two for right now, because I don't want to take a too, too long here. Uh, our current rating is like 1071, because apparently I've played OU sometime somewhat recently. This looks like a UU, this is all UU except for, uh, Rotom. Uh, that being said, Scrafty is the perfect thing for the Rotom, uh, actually. The second he sends in the Rotom, I can just switch it into Scrafty and do whatever I want. Probably sweep his team from there. But I do think he's gonna lead with the Mamoswine, and that is absolutely horrifying because I don't know if I can actually do anything from there. Uh, if I lead, if I go in with the Mew, he has the... Actually, what is Mega Heracross? Slash DT. Mega Heracross. Mega Heracross is, in fact, BL. That's what I thought. Uh, so. Hmm. It was actually, uh. I kind of want to leave with Mew. Because Mew has the Aura Spear. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead with the Mew. So he did end up going ahead and leading with the Rotom Wash. I'm just going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rock uh, at this point. Uh, he might be a trick set. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that he's not. But because of that, I can go ahead and go for the Heal Bell. And uh, just go ahead and get this burn off of me. Hopefully, I don't really know what wants to happen here. But I am specially defensive. Uh, I kind of want to go into my Scrafty, but it would be way too risky to set up with my Scrafty, mostly because of the Heracross, and a little bit of the Crobat, but I think I can knock off the Crobat and probably be pretty safe with that, so I don't want to go into Scrafty just yet. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I kind of want to just go into Scrafty though. 
Let's go into Scrafty. Uh, maybe he'll switch out. That only does 32 damage. That is just fine. Uh, we are not at a sufficient speed tier yet to actually go ahead and set up. Or, I, d I just don't want to set up at the moment. I'm just going to go for the knockoff, uh, get rid of his leftovers so he doesn't have that recovery anymore. And he might be thinking that he can wither me down, so I kind of do want to just set up though. I'm just going to set up at this point. Because I know I can eat those, and uh, I can go for the drain punch. I'm actually not going to outspeed though. I might though, because I also have the Mew. And the Mew had the whole weird set thing going on. Uh, he did go for the Protect. Alright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, I should probably knock off again. He might have gone to Protect to Scout. Saw the not or saw me go for the Drain Punch. Expects to go out to the Crobat. And then from the Crobat, he can do pretty much whatever he wants. Uh, there's the Florges, though. Uh, I go ahead and knock off the Florges. That's okay. Get the leftovers off. And we did finally get the shed skin so I'm gonna go for the iron head and just do damage just stay in and do damage and that's enough to kill alright then didn't expect it but uh yeah that's awesome okay but we are looking fan tucking fastic at the moment jeez we are ooh, we out here killing it um might expect me to switch out do I really really need this crafty not with the amount of HP he has, he's not going to be overly useful. I'm going to go for the knockoff. He does, he does go for the aerial ace. He's not over predicting here, and I do find out that he is life orb, uh, which is pretty fine. Pretty fine. Don't know exactly who to go into though. I kind of want to go into Dick Pinch, and I can pretty safely go for the Stone Edge. Yeah, I'm just going to go in for the Stone Edge. Uh, he doesn't have anybody with Intimidate, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, he does go for the U-turn. And I don't know who he's going to go into. Because I've, I'm breaking any sashes. Oh, he goes in, he just goes to sack off the Rotom. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, kind of, kind of, sort of should have predicted it, I, I guess. Uh, but, uh, we're, we're winning right now 5 to 4. Hopefully we can keep up the momentum though. If I wanted to keep this Scrafty, I could have gone into the Heatran. Because I don't really think that would have had anything to deal with me. I'm just gonna, I kinda wanna just stay in and go for the Iron Head. Would that be a smart move? I'm gonna go for the Iron Head. Or not the Iron Head, the Stone Edge. That was a crit. Uh uh, I don't know, what do you expect me to go out into? Is this like a, a defensive Mammo Swine? What is my set here? Yeah, I'm max attack. Alright then, um, I kind of want to go for another Stone Edge. Uh, he goes for the Stealth Rock. And okay then, I don't think that was worth it, especially because I have the Mew still. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, um, that was just unlucky, unfortunately. Uh, that was pretty unlucky. Guess I can kind of just go into the Mew, and I can just go for the Aura Sphere. Which, once again, not my best play. Uh, I feel like a Stab Earthquake would have done the job uh, a little bit better than a Stone Edge. Because I do know that Stone Edge has a chance to miss, and I have the worst luck with Stone Edge. But we are able to take it out with the Mew. Uh, Mew is back up to 50%. Uh, kinda don't like this thing at all but I don't want to over predict is the problem I wish I ran protect 
I really do. I'm gonna have to rethink this set. Okay. So I do know that he's Life Orb. I do know that. Uh, I should have definitely kept the Mew around to defog because he has no water type, or his only water type on the team is gone. And he also now has the Stealth Rocks. So Cacturn is not going to be useful uh, pretty much at all with that Sash gone. Uh, so I really, really do have to be extremely careful from this point on. I don't think I'm gonna win though, uh, unfortunately, because it is it is three three, and I feel like. Even though I do know that his like super heavy hitters are gone, uh, I'm just not confident. He does go for the Earth Power, uh, neglecting the fact that I do have the Air Balloon, uh, which might come in handy here. Uh, he's gonna go for the Draco, get me on the ground, but I think, yeah, this will definitely kill after the Life Orb damage. Uh, so we actually might be able to pull this one out somehow. I do pack the Lava Plume, as you could see from the Team Builder. Sorry, my throat was getting a little dry. But, uh, I can go for the Lava Plume. Uh, possibly knock out this Heracross. Uh, he might just kill me, though. Uh, he does go for the Protect. I don't really know why. I'm just gonna keep going for Lava Plume. Though, I don't pack Protect on this thing. Alright. Uh, I could have actually roared if I was really legit, though could have actually roared. Because uh, Milady can come in. Milady can come in and kind of just do whatever she wants. Because you wouldn't switch into the Crobat. There would be no point in doing that. And I don't think Heracross really gets any sort of uh, I don't I don't think Heracross really gets any sort of priority move that I th think, or that would be extremely viable. I don't think he does though. Uh, so he does go into the Crobat. That's gonna die regardless. I think I won this. I'm just gonna go ahead and call that GG, uh, saying that that fatal flaw of switching out was definitely, definitely a huge thing. Uh, I'm just now coming to the. Yeah, that's GG, Hero GG. I'm gonna go ahead and type GG. Um, I did just realize that people run physical Cacturn over special Cacturn because Cacturn gets access to Sucker Punch, uh, which is pretty useful, which would actually have, if I didn't have Milady, that would have actually come down to that uh, in that situation. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Thank you for all for watching the Sunday episode, and I think I'm actually gonna release games solo videos on Sunday too. But uh, yeah, like I said, thank you all for watching. If you have any uh, set suggestions, uh, leave them down in the comments section down below. And uh, I guess see you next Sunday. Peace out.